Hi everyone, I'm at the Southwest Snooker Academy in Gloucester today and I'm going to be hooking up with one of the best snooker players in the world, Graham Dot, and we're going to see if we can perform a fantastic card trick for you guys. So uh, this is the entrance and here are some of the previous world champions of recent years. So we're up in the bar and it's really busy right now and it won't be long before the final. There's Christy, she's just walking away. Obviously camera shy. Yeah, so her academy uh, in Gloucester and uh, we've got a standard pack of playing cards, we've got a standard pool table, we've got a standard cue ball that we've got the amazing Graham Dot and I need him to help me out. And this is kind of like a, a queuing action test of sorts. I need you to choose a card for him. So when I drop the cards from hand to hand, you just say stop wherever you like. Okay, okay off you go. Let's go. Public of that one. Okay. Just show it to the camera so they can see it. Alright, and when you've done, drop it right about here. And I'll show it to the rest of the gang so they can join in. Alright. Now, it doesn't matter if we know what the card is or anyone else knows what the card is. The idea is that Graham doesn't know where the card is. So here's what we'll do we'll spread the cards out. And what I need you to do, Graham, is to pick the white up mm -hmm. and kind of like just drive the cube ball off three or four cushions. And if the cue ball goes into a pocket, then that's not a valid attempt. We'll just pick the okay. white up and start again. Okay. Okay, maybe one more time. Yeah. yeah. Which card would you say it's closest to? Which one? This one here. Okay. So let's just move everything away at fingertips so there's no cheating going on. Did you play the shot playing ball? Right, so no side spin or anything. So consider this. If you put some side spin on the white, you could have ended up on this card or you could have ended up on this card. Now, over the years, would you say that as a professional snooker player, you developed an instinct for the game? Thanks, so. <laughs> your potting angles are instinctive and yeah. your position of play. What card did you look at uh, and uh, choose and remember at the beginning? Can you just turn that card over and uh, show it to the rest of the gang? <laughs> <laughs> the four of clubs. <laughs> I think you tuned very well, Graham. Very well, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Thank you. Thank you.